hello guys welcome back to my channel this is thai and craft by meiji in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to make a kimono apron dress this kimono apron dress you can wear it on top of anything on top of anybody hug anybody suits so you can put it on to perfect your dressing so in this tutorial today i'm going to be needing just one yard of a fabric a yard of a fabric is enough to make this kimono apron dress and the measurement we are going to be needing is just your length and your shoulder measurement in this tutorial today i'm going to use my own measurement i'm going to use 16 inches that is my back measurement so i'm going to use 16 inches that is 16 inches I'm going to be using 16 inches then like I said I'm going to be using my back measurements my shoulder measurement which is my shoulder measurement is 18 inches so I'm going to use the 18 inches and out of the 18 inches I'm going to remove 2 inches for the hemming of the top and the measurement I'll be using and the length of the measurement I'll be using is 40 inches and out of this 40 inches I will use 1 inches to do the bottom hemming so let's get started I'll fold in my fabric I have folded my fabric into two two parts that is 18 and 18 inches then I'm going to fold it again into four into two again so the folded is going to be four that is one two three then four equal parts so like i said my length is going to be my length is going to be 40 inches and out of the 40 inches i will use one inches for the emmy of the bottom of the top that is at the end of the day my length is going to be 39 inches so for my neck I'm going to measure I'm going to use this mark here for the starting point this mark here for the start so for my neck I'm going to use three and a half inches and for the for the depth of the neck I'm going to be using four inches so I'm going to connect So I'm going to connect with round neck. Voila. I hope you can see it guys very clearly. This top is very very simple to make. So for the neck I'm going to use um I'm going to use three and a half here then for the depth of the neck of the back neck I'm going to use two inches and connect also
so i'm going to measure the sh uh, shoulder slope i'm going to remove half inches for the shoulder slope the reason i'm removing the half inches is because i've already removed out of the shoulder length so if i leave if i remove the whole one inches it's not going to be okay so you are going to remove half inches for this shoulder slope and connect with the neck depth with the neck length so like i said i'm going to use one inches to do the emmy so now like i said i've removed five oh zero point five for the shoulder slope and connect with the neck length and i'm going to use one inches to hem it so i'm going to put half inches for the sewing allowance all round So that's just it. It's very, very simple to make. And we are going to cut. Let me quickly do a recap. I said if you want to make a kimono apron dress, which you can put on on any bodysuit dress, any bodysuit top. You are going to use one inches one yard i mean anyway it depends on your size because if you have a broad shoulder that means you will have to use more than one yard but like me i have 18 my shoulder is 18 yard 18 inches so i'm going to use one yard is okay by me so i'm going to cut one yard then divide then divide it into two or fold it into two then measure your you are going to measure your shoulder length so that's just it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do thumbs up for me press the notification bell so whenever i upload a new video it's going to notify you join the train and let the train keep going so i'm going to remove the back panel This is the back panel and I'm going to cut the front neck. It's just too simple to make. Sometimes if you want to do the DIY, you don't even need measurement. Just cut it out and do it. So that's just it. So now, this is the front and the back panel. So now we are going to cut the, the strap for the back, for the two side belts. So my strap I'm going to measure. Uh -oh. I'm going to measure two and a half. This is two and a half inches by this is 34. 34 is too long for me. Let me see. Maybe I can put it into two. No, this is going to be too short. Let me see. Sorry guys, I'm trying to save my material, save my fabric. No, this is just too short. 
Anyway, let me put this one aside. So for the back pan, uh, for the stripe of each side, I'm going to cut three inches in four ways. So guys, I've cut my strap into four. So the measurement I use for the strap is 25 inches length, then two inches by the width. So I'm going to fold it this way, right side facing the right side, and sew it together. Then turn it to the right side. Then after sewing this one together, I'm going to measure the measure my waist like so. This is my waist. My waist is 18 inches. So this is where I'm going to sew in this trap after turning it to the right side. So guys, please subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell, thumbs up for me, anything you want me to make tutorial on, comment below, I will definitely do it for you guys. You know I love you guys, I love you, love you, love you, love you so much, so I'm going to take this into the machine and sew it, after sewing it guys, I will let you to see it on me, wear my name. Thank you for watching. Bye.